I'm coming out of semi tag retirement and doing a tag today. Hello and welcome back to Bookish and welcome to Tag Tuesday where I'm going to do a tag. This tag was created by Jim over the channel Jim's Books Reading and Stuff. One side, I can't remember which side he does it on. Uh, a great channel, a uh, great uh, booktuber who's made a lot of tags that are like tag specific to a city. Uh, I'll leave a link to his channel, his original down below. Please go give Jim's channel a look. He does a lot of great content, one minute reviews that are great. Uh, lives in the country of Georgia, so oftentimes has kind of some unique uh, stuff in his channel. Please go check it out. As I said, I'll leave a link down below. Today's tag is the Istanbul tag. Uh, and he tagged me specifically and he t said something kind of disturbing. He said this might be uh, his last tag. And while I, I don't do a lot of tags anymore, it'd be a shame if Jim stopped creating tags because he's made some great ones. Anyway, the Istanbul tag, I uh, have my, the tag questions written on this card here. The first question says, uh, Istanbul has had many names over the years. Which is your favorite? Byzantium. Uh, that's my favorite because Byzantium is a more fun word to say than Istanbul or Constantinople. Uh, so I'm going to go with Byzantium. Uh, prompt number two, uh, Orhan Parmuk won the uh, Nobel Prize in 2006. Have you ever read someone just because they won the Nobel Prize? This question is one of the reasons why uh, I wanted to make sure I did this tag because I, this used to be one of the ways in which I chose new authors. I'd wait for the Nobel community to come out with their winner. Uh, and if it wasn't a poet, sorry poets, if it wasn't a poet at the time back then, I would, you know, seek out books uh, by this person. So there are any number of writers I discovered this way, and I still do it to a certain extent, uh, by the way. Um, you know, I looked at the list of Nobel Prize winners uh, when I first started reading. That led me to Samuel Beckett. More recently, uh, Olga Tokarczuk's win uh, led me to draw, Drive Your Plow with the Bones of the Dead. Jose Saramago is another author who, when they won the Nobel Prize, I, suck, saw, I sought out their work. So yes, this is definitely something I have done in the past and that I still, to a certain extent, do today. Annie Erno, another good example. Uh, question three, have you ever been to Istanbul? No, I can't say that Turkey is high on my list of places to go. Uh, have some issues with their current uh, government, which, you know, I have issues with my own government too, uh, quite frequently. So not some place I've really thought seriously about going. I would like to see the Bosphorus. I would like to see the Hagia uh, Sophia and other things. And, and I've heard Istanbul is a really uh, great city to visit. So, you know, maybe at some point, but I can't say it's the highest on my list of places to go. Uh, problem number four, have you ever, let's say, read a book or seen a movie uh, that's set in Istanbul? Uh, Book-wise, uh, two years ago, for the BookTube Prize, I read uh, Disquiet by Zulfu uh, Livanelli, uh, Lavanelli, which is set in Turkey in the, I think, far eastern part of Turkey, where ISIS was operating among uh, a, a small minority group. And I believe the book is set there in a city in that part of Turkey and then in Istanbul itself. So that would be my example. And I, I kind of liked that book. Uh, and then movie-wise, my favorite James Bond movie is set largely in Istanbul, and that's from Russia with Love. With the best James Bond, uh, Sean Connery uh, started, I think it might have been the second movie they made. Uh, it's set in Istanbul. A lot of the way in which they characterize the city and the people there are problematic today, but, you know, uh, still one of my favorite uh, James Bond movies, so uh, both a book and a movie. And then problem number five, have you ever read a book uh, that mentions the Armenian Genocide? And the answer is yes, my favorite um, uh, World War I history book, uh, The Beauty and the Sorrow by Peter Englund, um, uh, has two characters, or characters. What That book follows real individuals uh, and kind of traces their experience with World War I uh, and events surrounding it through their letters and correspondence. And two of the people that book follows actually uh, spent time or traveled through Turkey. One, uh, a woman who was working, I believe, uh, as a nurse uh, who comes in contact with the refugee community there uh, and another who actually uh, travels through one of the cities in which, you know, Armenians had been slaughtered uh, by uh, the Turkish uh, military. And so, yes, I've read a book and, you know, if I can't, if I haven't recommended the Beauty and the Sorrow to you, if you're interested in World War One before, let me go ahead and do that again. Uh, I just think it's a great book. Anyway, there you go. There's the tag. Jim tagged a lot of people. And let me say, if you have any interest in doing this tag, if anything I've said, you know, 
sounded something like something you think or it's something that's true for you or you have an interest in Istanbul or you've been there or to Turkey, uh, you know, please think about doing this tag. A great tag, great booktuber. As always, I look forward to your comments in the comment section below and thank you for watching.